Back in October we revealed the first details of an upcoming new Yamaha MT-10 for 2022. And right on time the firm has taken the wraps of precisely such a bike, boasting more power and renewed styling as well as updated technology. While not a clean sheet redesign the 2022 bike's changes marked the first major set of revisions since the MT-10 was launched in 2016. Since then a slew of new rivals have emerged on the scene to compete for honors in the superbike-derived Street Fighter class, but the 2022 MT-10 looks like it will be right back in contention. All about when it comes to out and out power, the MT-10 has always offered plenty, but Yamaha isn't trying to outgun the brawniest of its rivals. Given that it's heavily based on the R1, it would have been simple to equip the naked bike with the same 200 horsepower four-cylinder, but the MT-10 instead gets a detuned version that's specifically developed to suit it. The 2022 MT-10 uses the same cross-plane crankshaft design as the R1, but with steel con rods instead of titanium, adding to the rotating assembly's inertia for a torqueier feel, while reducing the cost, while the injection is revised to further boost the mid-range. The 2022 changes are largely focused on meeting Euro 5 emissions limits, but the engine also gains power, with the peak rising from 158 horsepower, 118 kilowatts, to nearly 164 horsepower, 122 kilowatts, at 11,500 rpm, while torque is up from 111 Nm, 81.9 lbft, to 112 Nm, 82.6 lbft, at 9000 rpm. Weight is up a fraction, from 210 kg to 212 kg including a tank of fuel, but that's unlikely to be a noticeable amount. While the power figure doesn't reach the heady peaks of Ducati's 208 horsepower Street Fighter V4 or Kawasaki's 197 horsepower ZH2, it's on a par with the BMW S1000R, and on the road you're very unlikely to find yourself crying out for more. To add to the writing appeal, Yamaha's engineers have taken a leaf out of the smaller MT-09's playbook and developed an acoustically tuned air intake system, using three intake ducts, each a different length, to feed the air box. These are designed to resonate in harmony as engine speeds increase. Although Euro emissions limits place strict limits on noise levels, the new MT-10 also gets acoustic amplifier grills on the left and right of the fuel tank, feeding the air intake noise directly towards the rider. The new intake is matched by a similarly redesigned exhaust, made entirely from titanium including the headers and silencers, which is again tuned to play appealing tunes throughout the rev range. Although the 2022 MT-10 is instantly recognizable as a relation to its predecessor, sharing the same R1-derived Delta box frame, kib forks and R1-based braking system, as before as well as carrying styling cues including two bug-eyed headlights, the bodywork is all new. There's actually less of it than before. Where the previous MT-10 had body-colored cowls either side of the cylinder head, the new version's flanks are uncovered apart from radiator sides and a small filler panel behind the front engine mounts. The tank and seat unit are new too, giving an improved riding position and making it easier to grip the sides of the tank with your knees. At the front, the MT-10's eye-like LED headlights are redesigned and sit below a neater, more integrated-looking cowl which has gained eyebrow-style LED running light strips, while the large air intakes on either side are both sleeker and more efficient than before, contributing to the engine's power increase. When it comes to technology, the previous MT-10's half-decade age was starting to show, so the new version has a makeover, with updates including a new color TFT dashboard that gives access to a whole suite of writer aids. 
These include a NIMU-based stability control system with cornering ABS and lean-sensitive traction control, as well as slide control, wheelie control and engine brake management, plus four power delivery modes. Yamaha Zirk Yamaha Ride Control system gives access to four preset modes for the rider aids, ranging from A for sporty riding to D for wet weather, but each individual aid can also be fine-tuned, and some, like the traction control and slide control, can be turned off entirely. On top of this lot, there's also a new variable speed limited function, allowing you to set a top speed not to exceed, and the quick shifter that used to be an optional extra is standard on the 2022 MT-10. We're going to have to wait until next year for details of the MT-10's pricing, which will be announced in January, although the current model starting at £12,502 is surely a good guide to what to expect. Color options for the new bike include the cyan storm scheme seen in these images, combining pale blue wheels with black and grey bodywork, as well as Yamaha's traditional icon blue, derived from the factory race bikes and featuring blue wheels and bodywork. A tech black option, with all the bodywork and the wheels finished in black, is the final choice. The bikes are due to reach dealers in February, along with a range of accessories including an Acropovi exhaust and heated grips. At the moment, Yamaha has yet to reveal the replacement for the higher-spec MT-10 SP, which currently shares the same general details as the normal bike, but with improved electronics and high-end Olin semi-active suspension. A 2022 SP is expected to be offered alongside the normal MT-10, though, so look out for details on it in the coming weeks. Yamaha has given the flagship to its expansive Montana Naked range, the Yamaha MT-10, a long-awaited restyle and retool for 2022, boasting more power, influence from the sister R1 sports bike, and tuning to emit its own distinctive sound. A spiritual flagship to the inaugural Yamaha to wear the the master of torque, Montana, prefix the 2007-1600cc Yamaha MT-01. The first-generation Yamaha MT-10 was launched in 2017 as a super-naked sibling to the R1 and bigger brother to the already established MT-09. Since then the Montana range currently comprising five Roadster models down to 125cc has continued to expand, but the MT-10 had been left to linger without an update, compared with the MT-09 and MT-07 which were replaced 12 months ago. However, ahead of the 2021 ICMA show on 25 November, Yamaha has taken the wraps off the new MT-10, which it says has been tweaked in all areas to maintain its position as one of the sales leaders alongside the Honda CB1000R and recently launched Triumph 1200 Speed Triple RS.